family. This is the voice of Pastor Hilton, and you are watching Fresh Life. We are talking about the fear of the Lord, and today our topic will be demonstrating your respect for God through your actions. Our text today will be in Genesis chapter 6, verse 22. The Bible says this, Noah did everything just as God commanded him. We said that the fear of God is to obey God. This uh, delayed obedience is disobedience. God, when he gives us an instruction, he wants us to follow it just as is. And this is what we have to understand. Jesus is talking, is healing the 10 lepers that have asked for healing, but only one came back to say thank you. And Jesus asked this question, where are the other nine? You have to understand this, that we must demonstrate our respect for God through our actions. You can't say you obey me. That's why he says, you worship me with your lips, but your hearts are far from me. Noah, Noah received the instruction from God. Noah just do, the Bible says, as God commanded him. When we fear the Lord, you respect him enough to have the audacity to obey him. Your actions will speak louder than your words. Many people today, they talk a lot. They can quote the scriptures. If you look at their lives, you see that there is no corresponding accent. That's why if you have faith, faith pleases God. But faith is not just a word, a nice word. Faith demands accent. If you believe, and that's how Abram showed us. He did not only believe, trust God, but Abram showed us his accents. He followed God's instruction by putting Isaac on the altar. And I want to say to you, the fear of the Lord will keep you holy and in agreement with God. It will keep you in agreement with God. The fear of the Lord, like we said, is to honor, to reverence, to respect. That is the fear of God. It's man's duty. Respecting God is the foundation of all biblical principles. You have to understand this. A person that walks in the fear of the Lord hate the things God hates. Pride, evil, arrogance, a twisted speech. So if you respect God, you run to him. If you are afraid of God, you run from him. And this is the difference. When we talk about the fear of God, we are talking about the respect. We are talking about obey. We are talking about honor. We are not talking about God is this old man. Like they tell us the story, they just wants to condemn us, eat us whenever we fail. He is a loving God. He is a merciful God. He says, if you confess your sin, if you admit your wrongs, I am faithful and just to forgive you. He sent his only begotten son because he don't want us to perish. He sent Jesus to took, take all our sin upon him when he died on the cross. God is a loving God. People that respect God in the Bible through the actions, we can see. I mentioned Abram. When God gave Abram instruction in Genesis chapter 22 to sacrifice Isaac, Abram did what God commanded him to do. We see it that, do you know that the prophet Isaiah, if you study Isaiah chapter 20, verse 1 and 3, will you do this? Can I ask you, will you do this? The Bible says, and God gave the prophet uh, instruction and God says to prophet Isaiah, I want you to walk naked for three years. I want you to walk naked. Just think about this dearly beloved. The prophet obeyed God. He walked naked for three years. That is exact obedience and that brings the power of God. It brings the glory of God. It brings God's manifested presence when you follow instruction just as God gave it to you. There's Hosea. Wow. I love this story. I love this prophet. You know what? God tells him, go and marry a prostitute. He did obey God. You know what? The sad thing about this story is that this wife of the prophet is living with him, but in the night she goes out. <laughs> her, 
He obeyed God when God says marry the prostitute. Exact obedience is what God desires of us. Do you know Joseph? Joseph, the young man that was tempted by his master's wife. You know what he did? He ran away. He ran away because he says, I cannot do such an evil thing. I cannot do this against God. You see that God desires exact obedience. You want us to obey him. There are things in life that my, my, you might be facing, temptation. Listen here. In Afrikaans, the old people always mention this and they say, livers bang jan as doya jan. So you say, run away. You know what? Joseph ended up in the castle because Joseph, he ran away from sin. And this is what we have to do. God gives Lot an instruction when he came, send the angels to destroy Sodom. You know what? God says in Genesis chapter 19, he says to Lord, I want you to run and run to the mountains and don't look back. This is an instruction, you know what? And Lord, run. But Lord reasoned with God and he says, let me go into this city, the, the, that small city here. He don't want to run to the mountain. God says it's okay. And he obeyed the instruction. But you know what happened? Lord's wife looked back, did not follow the instruction. And the Bible says she turned into a pillar of salt. I'm telling you, and you can look, trace your own life, do an assessment and see whenever you disobey God, it brings stagnation. You see, many people are in delay. Many people are procrastinating because of disobedience. Disobedience robs you from God's best for your life. I want to encourage you. This is a season where God desires his children to return. And all through the Bible, we see the Israelites, they are disobedient. And then God speak to them and then they return to God. Hear me. Whenever we obey God, we get God's results. God desires obedience. And this we see all through the Bible. Your accent speaks louder than your words. And this is what we see all. People say, if he is safe, I, I, I don't think so. Why? Because people look at your accents. They look at your attitude. Your accents will say to us, if you reverence God, fear God. I don't even want to talk. People are coming to church, not concentrating, not worshiping, not participating. They are on their phones the whole time. Our disrespect brings us demotion. Listen here, God wants you to honor him. What is holy remains holy. He's a holy God. So when you enter into his house, in his place of worship, Reverence him enough. How can you talk when the preacher is busy, when the worship leader is busy? You are having conversations. You are not disrespecting the pastor nor the worship leader. You are disrespecting a holy God. I want to tell you, disrespect brings a curse. It brings a curse. And all through the Bible, we see this. In Psalm 25, verse 4, this is what I love. The Bible says, the secret of the Lord is with them that respects, that fears God. And he will sow with them his covenant. You see, God reveals secrets to those who meet with him in the secret place. When we respect God, and you have to understand, it's the most important principle. It's the most, Im I like what the, uh, this other pastor say, Pastor Mike Murdoch. He says, what you respect, you attract. You become like. And this is what God wants. Because hear me, you are created in his image and in his likeness. Listen here, if you honor him, obey him, God knows where to lead you best. Honor will take you further than your life experience. Those who honor God, listen here, and those who you honor qualify for a different relationship in your life. Psalm 25 verse 12 says, God only teaches people that fears Him. 
You, you, you have to understand this. God chooses students not on the basis of exams, but on the basis of their character, on how they honor, on how they follow instructions. My question today is, how you act to your parents, to your pastors, to your friends, says how you fear the Lord. The Bible is clear. It says we have to honor our parents. We have to honor our parents so that we can live long. If we look today and see how many young people are dying before their time, then we can trace it to disrespect. We can trace it to not honoring God's word. If we see so much confusion in families, amongst friends, we can trace it to people not following God's instruction. I want to ask this question and we can talk. Why must we fear the Lord? Matthew 10 verse 28 says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy soul and body in the hour. That is why, family, it is his desire that no one should perish. It is his desire that no one should go to Yal. You were not created for Yal. You were created to have intimacy, fellowship with your creator. And all he requires of us is the duty of man is to fear God. Proverbs 2, 1 till 5, you can read. The Bible says, if you receive my words and treasure my commandments within you, listen here, if you do that, you will experience the blessing. You will experience, and this is what we can go to the Old Testament, Deuteronomy chapter 28. If you study this, and yes, it's the law, but if you study this, you'll see whoever obeys God, there is benefits in fearing God, in honoring God. I have a question. And I want to ask you, do you obey God when he speaks to you? Or do you delay in carrying out what God has said until you to a more convenient time? And this is what many of us do. God speaks to us and then we decide, I'm going on Friday. And we don't know the urgency of heaven. How many people has, has passed away because of instruction? There are so many people living in, in regret because if I just went earlier, if I just went and said what the Lord says, you don't have to. God desires exact obedience. I want to tell you and I want to be like Mary today that says whatever he says you must do, just do it. Dearly beloved sister, my brother, you that are watching now, whatever the Spirit of God says you must do, just do it. You'll see the supernatural power of God manifest in your life. The fear of the Lord is a choice. You'll have to understand this. And my question again is, do you honor God for benefits or do you honor Him because He is God? Do you honor Him because He can bless you or do you honor Him just because He is God, your Creator? The one that has a plan for your life, not to harm, but to prosper you. I want to talk to you and say, Proverbs 1 verse 29. It's a text that I love. It says, since they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. So the fear of the Lord is a choice. You decide who you obey and who you obey is your master. You decide today, dearly beloved, Noah demonstrate his reverence, his respect for God through his actions. Everybody was mocking him when he was preaching a flood is coming. Everybody was laughing at him when he preached a flood is coming. Hear me, because he did do what God says. Hear me. At the end, all stand the same. At the end, Noah and his family were saved. Your obedience to God can, listen here, can bring deliverance to your whole family. Your disobedience can bring, listen here, a curse upon your family. Let's look at Jonah. Jonah is disobedient. Jonah did not obey God. Jonah do what he wanted to do and he went to Tarsus. He gets on a boat. You know what happens? Jonah in danger. The captain 
And all his men's lives because of his disobedience. There are so many of us today that are walking in disobedience and are endangering our brothers and our families' lives because we are not obeying God's instruction. God's instruction is, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and preach this gospel. Jonah was afraid because of the people of Nineveh. I want to tell you, dearly beloved, the fear of man, listen here, the fear of man brings disappointment. The fear of man brings a curse. But when you trust in God, the Bible says you will be blessed because what you trust, you'll obey. And this is what God desires. He, he wants us to trust him enough Sometimes the instruction that God gives, oh, I'm telling you, the instructions that God gives us is very, very, it's, it, it looks like, I know one day I was working here at Inca Bricks and the Holy Spirit gave me an instruction to the boss of this company. And I was still a new convert, young. I just want to obey God. And you know what? It took me a while, but by lunchtime, I went, as I, when I see the manager, I went, I ran to him, and I said to him, because this was the instruction, God says, I must just say, Richard, God says he loves you. When I obeyed that instruction, I didn't know what my manager was going through, but when I said the words that God instructed me to say, do you know a grown-up man is falling on his knees and crying? And he says to me, Brother Hilton, this is just what I needed to hear. Things are so tough. You know what? From that day on, I my confidence was boost. And now I wanted to tell the whole world everything that God says, I just want to obey. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You know what? Your obedience can save a life. Your obedience can... Listen here. Sometimes God instructs us to go and bless someone, give to someone. You don't know the need. Obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. You see, because what we sow, we reap. But God is using us as his hands, as his feet, to be a blessing. Obey the voice. I'm talking to you, yes, businessmen. You are tuned in, you are watching right now. And the Holy Spirit has spoke to you to sow. You'll have to sow. Give to who God says you must give. Bless who God says you must bless. And you'll see a multi, listen here, you'll see a hundredfold harvest come in. Whenever we obey God, listen here, God will never ask us something that he will not give us back. He says, if you give up to, for my kingdom's sake, I will reward you. And I want to tell you, whatever Jesus says you must do, I want to encourage you, dearly beloved, just do that. Just, just do that. And Noah, Abram, all these men, great men of faith, we see they followed the instructions of God. It's time to obey Him. Yes, 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 you are watching now. It's time to obey God. Obey what He has said. God has commanded you to forgive. Forgive those who have betrayed you. Forgive those who have cursed you. He says, bless your enemies, Jesus says. He says, we must bless those just obey and you'll see God the results. I want to encourage you. The fear of God, the fear of God can be seen in our actions. And Noah demonstrate his reverence, his respect for God through his actions. Yes, child of God, our actions speak louder than our words. The Lord bless you.